So you want to learn how to paint like this, but you don't know where to start. Let's talk academic busts and I'll give you my top five recommendations. So at the end of this video, you're not going to be painting like Arnu. No surprises there, but we all need to start somewhere. This year I set myself the personal goal of being able to paint busts. I read around the topic and spoke to fellow painters. And when I did so, one term kept popping up in particular. Academic busts. But what are they and why are they so important to your development? An academic bust is designed to be the perfect practice piece to perfect the skills for approaching bust painting in general. The skills you acquire can then be transferred to more complicated and involved pieces. A good academic should be simple and free from unnecessary details that are too specific to that sculpt or are not commonplace in all busts. Good versions, however, should allow the painter to modify the piece through conversions or additional sculpting to make it their own if they wish to do so. The most important feature though are the volumes. It is this that teaches the painter how to approach a piece and how they should be interpreted for the best end result. So with that in mind, I wanted to look at my top recommendations. I picked five. These aren't ranked in any particular order, but they are picked for very different reasons, which I'll go into. And I really encourage you to have a go at them all, if you can. First up is Laszlo by Fair Miniatures, sculpted by Raphael Pica. It's beautifully sculpted, as you would expect from Raphael. The bust has clear lines, symmetry and volumes, which make it an ideal beginner's bust. The bust is small in comparison to many others on the market, which means it is both manageable and does not intimidate. It also has some moulded scarring, which allows the painter an opportunity to try something different while still keeping the overall project relatively simple. Next on the list is Road Girl, produced by Journeyman Miniatures and sculpted by Charles Agis. This made my list not only because it's a beautiful sculpt, but as far as I'm aware, it is the only female academic bust on the market at the time of recording. The approach to painting a woman's skin is very different to that of a man's, both in palette choices and the final finish. Therefore, this piece provides the perfect opportunity to practice those skills. The other notable point of this sculpt, and another reason it features on my list, is the manner in which the hair has been sculpted. Painting hair can be very intimidating, and the volumes here are an ideal playground for this. The third entry on my list is the Yoga Bust by Banshee Studios, sculpted by Alfonso Geraldes. Alfonso is no stranger to producing academic busts, having produced two anonymous busts as well as this to date. With a painting and sculpting background, he knows exactly what is required to produce a great sculpt to paint. So why did this one make my list instead of the others he's produced, which some may argue are more versatile? One word, character. This sculpt oozes it. With its exaggerated features, it provides some great volumes to practice on, which other academics don't. Finally, the inclusion of the cigar allows the painter to play with OSL and light reflection. Next up is the York Academic, produced by Hera Models. Hero models have a large collection of academic busts which you should take a look at, but this one is my personal favourite. The sculpt is beautiful but makes my list because of the subject matter. Because of it, no colour is off the table. Where other sculpts on the list may limit you to human skin tones, this one allows you to paint anything you like. I've seen this bust completed in traditional greens, blues, purples and even oranges, which all look great. This bust is the one that you buy if you want to play with colour as well as volumes. It's no wonder it's so popular on social media and Instagram in particular. The Dayhack bust produced by Beyond Miniatures and sculpted by Raoul Latour. The final entry in the list, but by no means the least. This bust is the largest of those that I've selected so far, which means it's a nice large canvas to play on. It allows for some freehand, tattoo work, or other modifications you may fancy. The features are fantastic anatomically, and there's plenty to explore in terms of volumes. There are some nice additional details, 
which give it a roguish charm, such as scarring and battle wounds. So those are my top five. Are there any in particular that take your fancy? If so, I'm going to put links in the description below so you can pick them up. I'd be interested to know which ones in particular are your favourites and you want to have a go at. Once again guys, if you like this content, please subscribe and like and share it if you can. Also, if you can leave a comment, we enjoy reading them and hearing from you. Until the next one, I'll see you.